Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, the Australian dollar ended the week on a negative note and therefore has set up the week for another down test. As the market now clearly is broken through that level around 74, 50, 60 area, it is in view that we could see a further downward play. That is towards this region of 73, 70. However, I'm just a little bit cautious in terms of the fact that that recent rally that we saw that spiked up around 76, 60 could again soon find the balls returning. So let's see how the market plays into the start of today and look towards, first of all, around that 74.10 to around 73.70 as initial short term, that is, base, and may actually see some demand returning. The euro took another test lower on Friday, but now getting a little bit um, hesitant as we get closer towards this region of 107.50.80. In light of the pattern, though, we may see a small impulse up towards that break level that we saw on the way down at 109.30 and reassess from this region. Dollar yen has continued as it previously did on that stretch up and that short squeeze and the rebound off 121 and a half may actually still see a slight test up again for the start of this week. But I feel towards that level around 125 was rejected and again may actually see this again because the technicals have once again overbought and the MACD is still somewhat lackluster in terms of supporting this current rise. Nevertheless, we could draw a trend line that does come in and respectfully around this region, just taking a bit of a squeeze there. And therefore, let's see how we look towards this short term base around 123 and a half. Sterling weaker on Friday and took a stab at the level of 130, but was rejected. In light of the pattern, though, I feel that this is still respectfully as a short term base in the near term. And let's see if the market can find momentum to the start of this week and reclaim the top side of 131 and push up towards 132. A break beneath 130, however, would need uh, to be reassessed in terms of how the break would initiate the move with the next support area seen around 129, 40, 50. But in light of the rejection on Friday, let's see if the market balls can return. Sterling Kiwi finding again more momentum into the fourth consecutive day and reaches its first target of 190. I still hold the view that we could actually even see a further rise and given the fact from the technicals that we could see a move up towards 192 as a potential target. Gold is pushed back towards that top side of the range in that lackluster price action. I'm still keeping an eye on this MACD as it's shaping up to a potential um, uh, I'd say more to in a position to push towards that short squeeze of around 1950.60. But in light of the recent rejections, it was only three days that it plummeted back towards 1900. And that is a 60 point drop. We could easily see this pattern being repeated. Fishing up with oil since reaching its objective around 92. 1890 or around 93 dollars a barrel the market is attempting to repush higher in light of the pattern here i still feel that the, the bears have still control and no doubt will probably ambush any advances towards the region that is around 90 97 to 100 dollars a barrel i know it's wide but in terms of how the, the swings that we've been seeing that should con the volatility can still continue this way and overall, though, we could see another down test at that bottom side of the range. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. But please keep an eye out for the intraday report and the end of the day wrap.